Hey, my community, Jeff here again, and I have got some more of the Amazon price drops. I did a video recently about that, and a couple more had come in. Seems like a lot of things on my wish list have been dropping um, a little more frequently in the past couple weeks, I guess. Um, I think there's still one or two out there that are coming that aren't like coming directly from Amazon that are taking a little longer. And these are mainly hole fillers. These are mostly items that have been released in the past that, you know, I just have had on my wish list and things that I wanted. Uh, so they're not like new releases or anything. They're, they're maybe some newer reissues. So for instance, the music on vinyl reissue of Extreme Pornography. I guess it's the, I guess there's different ways you can pronounce that. But anyway, um, yeah, I did not have this on vinyl. I have a couple of their other ones, uh, but not this one. And so this one dropped to under $20. I think this is still hovering closer to the dirty realm. And I believe the reason this one dropped, you can't really see it, but it is, it does have a crease right there. There is a bend. And so I don't mind getting items when they drop in price because of, you know, minor damage. I always look for that on Amazon. It'll tell you. It'll say like new, and then it may say something like minor something on cover. Now, if it says something like small, medium, large mark on disc, I tend to stay away from them because that means the actual vinyl is damaged. Or if it says may not come in original packaging, <laughs> then I'm like, uh, I don't want to go that far. I don't, you know, I, 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 I usually skip those. But if it says like new, um, opened or something like that, then it tends to be something minor like this. So in this case, that's the only thing I noticed about it. It was, you know, it was totally still sealed like usual. It just has a crease there. The album is in perfect condition. So went ahead and grabbed that. It actually dropped to, uh, what I say, under $20 like in the teens. Um, most of these were in the 16 to 18 price range, if I recall. And that's kind of my sweet spot when they drop down under $20 is when I kind of really examine them to decide if I want to make a move on that. This one definitely, this one, I didn't think I'd ever get this. This is the Michael Shanker Fest Live. So there's there's like three Michael Shanker Fest albums. There's two studio albums and this live album that I believe are the only ones under the name Michael Shanker Fest. These live albums tend to be harder to I mean they you know I, I, they don't they're always expensive they're double records etc etc so this one dropped down into the teens and I thought yes and it said like new etc etc like it normally does now the only thing about when I first got it the the the, the shrink wrap had some oddities to it kind of looked like it was kind of stuck to the cover kind of was almost like the shrink wrap was peeling a second layer um, the cover itself has minor dings. You can't, you know, you may can see it's got a minor little bend there. You can see it more on the back. It's got a bend there. And that was really, you know, that just, you know, some, some corner dings. Looks like it's been handled. It was still in the shrink. Minor, you know, minor little, it's really, it's hard to see on the camera. Minor little cover dings. Vinyl itself in great condition. Double record set. So yeah, I had to pounce on this one. Now I... I got another Michael Shanker live album recently, and I can't recall if I ever showed it. But same thing, it was not Michael Shanker Fest, it was another one, I should have pulled it, because I don't recall now if I showed it in a video. But it was like maybe two weeks ago, and it was one of the Michael Shanker live albums, and it dropped down in there. And um, yeah, I don't recall if I ever showed that. But anyway, so this one popped up, and I'm like, well, yeah, I gotta get it. You know, I love Michael Shanker, and to have this another live album, because these live albums for his stuff, they tend to go up there in the $40 range and then sometimes they disappear real quick and they become $60, $70. And so I was glad to get this one. So yes, when it dropped down under 20 and there was nothing wrong with it, it still said like new, then I'm like, all right, I got to do this. And here's another one which you may have seen me show in past videos, but I got another one by the Flower Kings. Flower Kings, prog band from overseas, and um, you know I've I've first learned about them back in the was it 90s, early 2000s, because the singer guitar player Roy Stolt from this album joined forces with Mike Portnoy and 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 Neil Morse, and you know they went on to form Transatlantic with uh, Pete from Marillion, and it was like a super group. So that's why I first learned of their music, listened to their stuff back in the day. Now they've been reissuing all their records on vinyl from the 90s and stuff. And I picked up a couple. This is their 97 release, so this is actually the earliest one I've got by them. This is like their 
third album, I think. And so the other ones that I bought, which I've shown, are much newer. They were like in the later 2000s even. So this one popped up in the teens. I forget it was like under $17. And at first I thought, uh, you know, I was trying to pull back. And I'm like, do I really, I don't really need another Flower Kings album. I have a lot of their stuff digitally. But then I re when I looked deeper into it, I realized this is a triple album. This is a three, because they're prog band. They put out long music, and so their CDs can hold a lot more. This was a three album set. I believe it's on, is it on black? I believe it's just on black. Yeah, it's on black. And it came with the CD. So it was a three vinyl set with double CD. So you get the whole package. And it was in the teens, $16, $17. And I thought, okay. Now, I got it again. It said like new, blah, blah, blah. The shrink wrap had a little tear in it. And the only thing you can really see about it, you can see it on the, the hype sticker itself. It's kind of scuffed because it was right here. And you, it looks like there's some almost like road rash. Like right there. It's kind of it's kind of bent right there. But right there, it looks like something had scraped it on the ground or, or run over it. It looks almost like something, something put dents on it and kind of scratched it right there. And that's it. Final, everything inside, perfect. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and pounced on this one because I'm thinking, yeah, you know, it's it's a great album, and you know I didn't have it on vinyl, and to get a three record set for in the teens, I went ahead and pounced on that one. And this was just an oddity. This one dropped. This one had always hovered in the uh, in the thirties, twenty nine, thirty dollars, and this one dropped into the under twenty, and that's Master of the Rings. Um, by Halloween this album is okay so if you know my story I spent from the mid 80s to about the mid 90s uh, I, I was only focused on listening to Christian music and so I, lo I lost track of did not follow any of the bands in that time frame and so I listened to Halloween Halloween back in the, the first two albums the EP and the Wall of Jericho I had those back in the day then I kind of zoned out of that whole phase and so by the time I started to get back in to listen to it, this was actually the first time I bought by them. This is 1994's Master of the Rings. And I remember getting this, you know, not, and of course it was a different singer than what I was used to, et cetera. Um, I remember getting this and just being floored by it. Thought it was an absolutely phenomenal album. Now the, the album I had, um, I think it had, it might've been like a deluxe edition, it had bonus tracks. They did a Kiss song and everything. I think I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I still have the CD back there that I bought back in the day. So yeah, this one's always been kind of near and dear to me because it was kind of like where I refound them. Now, I listened to this the other day and I thought, you know, it's not as great as I remember it being, but you know, it's still good, but it just, it didn't blow me away listening to it again on vinyl these years later. Um, there've been so many great albums by them. I like some of, most of their newer stuff. Uh, it, it still blows me away with the, the, the sound. So love it. Long way to go to have anywhere near a Halloween collection. I think I've got like three or four albums, four albums by them. So, so many. You know, and I'm I'm one of those ones that likes those years that everybody hates. I like the Chameleon album and the and the Pink, all that you know stuff there that, that came out back around earlier than this. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fond of all that stuff because when I went back and listened to it, I really enjoyed it. So there you go, four quick albums, Amazon price drops. That's it for this one. Though. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Rock on and rock hard.